training for today, we'll be talking about speaking your customer's language in your business. What, what does that mean? What does it entail? And why is it important? And also just learn, go deeper in with one of the approaches that I would like to share with you that can support you to be able to understand, you know, the psychology of your customer in every stage of your business. You have to be so intentional in the process of identifying the opportunities at that point in your business. For example, I like giving the example of when if you have a young business at the moment, maybe you started your business recently or you are between um, one month and one year old as a business. The opportunities that you see right now and the opportunities that your business is going to undertake right now are very different for a diff for a, an entrepreneur who's been running the business for four years a different entrepreneur who's been running the business for 20 years and so it means you can't just say that my business will only be focusing on this area or this opportunity forever things keep changing the markets keep changing our economies keep changing your customers needs keep changing and so as a business owner your role is to stay alert there are certain businesses that can uh, can comfortably say hey sheba for me i know and i have seen my business has been growing we've been uh, you know we started with one shop now we've been op we've opened other shops in different areas of the country you know i started with one product and now i've been able to expand to other now I'm not wholly engaged in the business. I'm not the alpha and omega of my business. I feel that my business, I can see that my business is growing, has grown and is successful. But in the stages of business, that is not the end. There is another stage that's called significance. The businesses that have, have succeeded or are enjoying success, it doesn't end there because the journey of, of, of an entrepreneur is a very passionate journey is a very um, involved journey. So the, the level of significance is where an entrepreneur realizes that they now need to recognize opportunities so they are able to create the new demand. When they see that you really care about them, when they see that you really care about how you would solve the problem to you know the problems they have they can be able to go deep with you and share more with you that you can be able to apply in your business they offer you a chance to observe body language and reactions of your clients and these ones are usually very interesting for example the last time you had a conversation with someone could have been this morning even later today observe intentionally observe someone's body language when you, they are talking to you even their body language their reactions can explain or show you more than just the words they're offering to you so what we are learning now is one approach that you can use to be able to understand your customer and speak in their language and this approach is called empathy interviews so how do you conduct this empathetic interview first of all it is a one-on-one -on -one conversation, not a group conversation. So you have to map out which clients do I, do I want to meet? How many clients have I ever served? And can I just write a list of all of them, give them a call and tell them, hey, I'm not even selling anything to you. I'd like to just have a conversation with you to just learn more about how we have been working together. And your goal is to just listen to them. So that means you need to immerse yourself into the environment, experience what customers usually experience. And that's why you will notice some institutions, especially finance in financial institutions, when they want to really connect with their clients, at least back in the day, I don't know about now, they used to go to where the clients used to be. And sometimes when you immerse yourself into your client experience, you're able to observe them being in their real you know, environment and you're able to see so much about them. Observe, view the customers and their behaviors in the context of their lives. In fact, when you are ready to start doing these exercises, don't just invite them to your shop, to your restaurant or to your office or to what is a comfortable to you. Ask them, tell them, I'm comfortable to meet you at an area you are, that's comfortable with you. Imagine you are having this conversation. Um, Sheba, 
is one of your clients she has accepted to support you on this journey with your business lesson that you're doing um maybe she has never been one of your clients and you've told her i'd like to spend some more time with you so that i can understand more and see how i can solve problems or better create better products and services for you and other clients like you when we have that meeting when we meet how does the opening act looks like look like it's about building rapport how are you doing don't just go straight into asking questions when was the last time you bought abcd where did you buy no how have you been um how's the journey going on if you, if you're a business to business company or if your business if you're a you serve retail customers only just find out hali hali how how they are doing a bit of small talk introduce yourself people also forget they may even not remember who you are or when the last time you worked with them so introduce yourself um introduce your project um and then shift your focus to the interviewee ask them their name if you don't know their name ask them how they've been where they've come from um what they have been up to a little bit of just getting to know call it opening act is like building rapport getting to know kind of questions small talk after that is done it's time for the main act number 1 yeah this is where you ask questions remember we are doing empathy interview empathy interview is about asking questions that help you to get into your customer's shoes and be able to understand how they think how they feel how they make decisions so main act number 1 is a very you ask topic specific questions ask about specific instances or occurrences you know back to let's let's imagine i i work like now i work at centronomy and we do a lot of these entrepreneurial trainings personal finance training and let's imagine that you have ever done one of our trainings when i call you you agree we do the opening act my first main act is to be able to go right into being topic specific i will ask you tell me about the last time you did a business course you tell me and as you continue speaking i will build on to your answers oh wow in 2020 how was that experience like for you tell me about it and the more you keep telling me the more i am taking notes i'm noting the main things you're saying you know i will tell you you know what was your favorite experience about that business course what was what did you learn what stood out for you in that business course and you keep on telling me stories so are you noting the kind of questions i'm asking yeah so the questions that you ask if you use st- uh, statements like tell me about the last time what do you mean or show me a picture you know you can even tell me could you show me a picture about that of of that trip that you went what did you like you know could you explain to me the itinerary how was it like for that travel that you did um so encourage stories keep taking notes then don't end it there don't say asante sana for this conversation uh god bless you no go deeper main act number 2 is say is all about going deeper here we are saying we're going to product or service reaction questions this is where you ask neutral questions like Wow. What what do you think about booking if you're in the travel industry for example? What do you think about booking for yourself um trips? And they will tell you about these kind of experiences if they've ever had explore emotions. Why do you feel that is important? Why do you feel sad when you speak about that experience? Yeah? What do you feel about printed merchandise that has been printed like this or printed like that so please notice that in the second main act you're going a little bit deeper into the product back to my example of centronomy if i'm having a conversation with someone who's ever done this product uh, program or such kind of a program i'll ask them what do you think about entrepreneurial courses in in Kenya at this moment or online entrepreneurial courses why do you feel like that why do you feel they are not getting you know proper reach you know go deeper like that 
what do you feel about a customer service course what do you feel about a social media marketing course i'm going deeper into emotions and i'm going deeper into the product so depending on the kind of business that you do just use these questions or starter question starters as um, to help you frame your question and then once you've gone a bit deeper you've been able to hear stories or experiences from your client you've been able to understand why they feel the way they feel about those products or services then now you can move on to the conclusion where you can say you know what else would you like to tell me about your learning experiences yeah what else that is for me if i work at centronomy if you are for example a vet uh, 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 an agro vet for example you'd also ask them you know what else would you like to know about me to know about your your journey with buying feed from my shop or these kind of shops and the more you ask such kind of questions the what questions the why the tell me more the show me how you use this product you will be very surprised about how much more information you can get from this act oh yes another good question or frame is show me how you use it and this is very good for people who are in service or people who are in tech yeah people who are in tech and maybe you, you have apps and maybe you want to understand your client deeper and they have an app you can tell them show me how you usually use it show me explain to me how you usually use it and they'll be able to tell you so much more about their journey and about their experiences those notes that you take when you go back to your desk you'll be able to start understanding how your client thinks how your client feels how your client acts and that is your customer's language so that now when you are revamping your social media pro pro uh, pages when you are revamping your programs when you are revamping or seeing what can i restock in my shop in my supermarket and so on and so forth you are responding in their language as, as well you are responding to their feelings you are responding to to their thoughts you are responding to how they act what's wrong with this situation just look at the on like at the image on my on the on the screen what's wrong with this situation could it be possible that the product you're selling you are both looking at it or the service that you're offering you're both looking at it you and your client but seeing very different things this baby is like what are you guys so excited about why are you showing me this you know these bums and the parents are there saying oh my god this is so cute they even celebrate it different views gladys or daughter says the end user's experience is not taken into consideration that's what i'm talking about are you speaking the client's language it is you the entrepreneur you who is so passionate about this mission you know you're the only one who understand the mission and the vision for this particular business and this is a very sensitive topic so abdullahi i would say personally take charge before you involve the employees how about have your list of 10 meet those 10 understand the process experience it yourself so that if now you choose to delegate it to someone else you even know the ideal questions to ask based on your experience so i would say this is a very strategic move it's ideal for you um you do it as you build that muscle then you can now delegate and mentor someone else as well so um as we wrap up and then go on to take questions uh please be aware of the white collar limitation what i mean by this one is the kawaida way of doing things the the usual way of doing things that have been done in the past don't we are no longer in the place of this is how we do things here it's also time for you to to change and and this way of speaking your customers language is one of the ways of doing things differently not the way they've been done in the past what we have learned today is yes 
operate in your area of interest business you operate your business in your area of interest your area of passion and things like that but please remember the customer is the one who's paying for your services paying for your product so it's not about what you like it's about what your customer wants or needs so please understand what they want what they need then now you're able to to serve them when you serve them in the way that they need when you meet them at the point of their needs your business ends up to do well another thing is say who are you getting feedback from get feedback not from your parents not from your friends from your get feedback from your clients themselves what i mean by feedback conduct these interviews with clients that you have served before or potential clients that you would like to serve for those who haven't served anyone yet yeah get them from the clients not just from people in your family so that you can get the right answers to the right questions and respond to feedback responding is not always a yes sometimes it's a no sometimes it's a wait sometimes it's a maybe sometimes the response is oh, okay good to know my business will think about it and we will see how to incorporate it in our strategy don't feel the pressure of oh my god getting all this feedback means i need to act on all of it as a uh, in affirmation or by saying yes to it no just know what the feedback is and then in a wise way you will know what can be done now what can be implemented now what can be tested later and so on and so forth <music>